Well, hello to the Friday edition of Blinded by the Item. Hope so official. Everybody is having a great day. Oh, we had some sexual assault allegations with Garth Brooks. This is a fast, I don't want to say fascinating and like I, I'm a, look, it's gross. It's nasty. It's a rape and sexual assault allegation, and there are very detailed allegations as laid out in this lawsuit. Mm -hmm. But what we also learned is that there was a lawsuit filed anonymously. None of us knew about a couple months ago. Turns out it was Garth Brooks trying to stop this woman from making these allegations in the first place and claiming that she was extorting him. What I don't know and what we still have yet to find out is what happened with that lawsuit. Like, what was the outcome? Because now we're learning about it because she did file a lawsuit and she is making those claims. So still a lot of questions to be answered, but shocking if true. And well, shocking if not true. It's just it's. I don't know if we've ever heard anything about Garth Brooks in this manner. No, Um, no, but if. Sorry, go ahead. No, and maybe there is something in the blinds. I don't know. But if there is behavior like this in the past, I guarantee we're going to hear about it pretty quick because like in most of these cases, if not all, when someone at that level of fame and fortune engages in the behavior, it's not the first time. Yeah. And he's not a spring chicken. That's yeah. correct. As it uh, pertains to the blinds, I did dig a little bit into it and find uh, a ton in this uh, manner, but I don't know if you, uh, uh, the other discussion is he's in the middle of a residency and last night took the stage and performed Mm -hmm. and uh it was just um yeah that had to be odd yeah (laughs) i mean he went to social media and basically said i really needed this i don't remember exactly what the quote was but like uh, of any night i really needed this after the day today and Mm -hmm. you know that was he he was standing firm on his side of uh, of the belief but again that just had to be a, a a kind of a surreal spot to be yesterday i mean yeah if you're a garth brooks fan yeah that's a weird moment to be in. Right mm-hmm. now. Yeah, definitely. Yikes. But there's also a potential victim here. So that's, that's absolutely true. true. We got to keep that in mind. Yeah. Let's do some blind items. Yeah. Uh, let's start things off actually a little different than we normally started off. Let's start off with some follow ups because we do have some follow up stories. Oh, victory and laps? A couple, if you want to call them that, sure. Yeah. Victory <laughs> okay. laps work. Uh, just a reminder that uh, follow us. You might. Might learn a thing or two, including the fact that um, it's now been announced. One of our FBR superstars. Now, if you don't remember, FBR is fame to blind ratio. Yeah, it's a ratio. You coined that phrase, Mike. I did coin that phrase. It's a ratio of okay, if somebody's fame level's here, but their blind item level is here, they have a very high FBR. Yeah, that's their fame to blind ratio. Um, maybe the superstar of that one, Joshua Jackson, for example. Um, I've heard Doctor Odyssey's terrible, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, FBR superstars include people like DDG. Uh huh. He might be the poster child because I didn't know what a DDG was until we started doing what blinded is DDG? by the item. It's Halle Bailey's. Uh, oh yes. Okay. I baby's dad. Yeah. Uh huh. And they had still been dating, but we'd been telling you for months they were calling it off. They were splitting. They weren't in a good spot. It was all over. It's now official in a statement released by him on Instagram. They are indeed going their separate ways. Oh. He put this statement out that said, after much reflection and heartful conversations, Hallie and I have decided to part our separate ways. Well, good luck with that. They're still going to be in the news and the blinds because they have a child, correct? That's right. Yeah. And I'm sure her PR people are like, oh, thank God. You know, because there have been all kinds of weird allegations against him that you're like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, he's been very cheaty. Yeah. Peter McCheaterson. Mm-hmm. And he's also had, yeah, just lots of weird stuff. He also is apparently every chance he gets exploiting the child that is now obviously a baby to uh, get social media attention and likes. So that was just one follow up I wanted to do. And then the other follow up, this one is far more fun. Do you guys remember it was like t- three months ago I told you that it was going to be always sunny? At Abbott Elementary? Yes, you called it. It's now official. There is an Always Sunny in Philadelphia and Abbott Elementary uh, collab episode. That's fun. Victory lap. Absolutely. Victory lap. And again, you heard it here first three months ago before it was officially announced yesterday. The the blinds are always... uh, I mean, it's kind of one of those things, though, where it's almost like a Nostradamus prediction. Like, when they're on, they're on, but there's a lot of crap we never, you know, sign off on. Hey, don't talk about that. 
No, but I'm just <laughs> saying. Right. I'm well, just saying, like life. Yes. There's a big pile of doo doo, mm-hmm. but occasionally inside that pile of doo doo, at the very bottom, <sighs> is like a foil covered chocolate bar. Ooh. And um, you pick the doo doo. Okay, this is not like I life at all. Never mind. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Not digging and I'm definitely not digging through poop to try to get to a chocolate bar because I think the last thing I would want after digging through poop. Is a bar of chocolate. Look, if hands. I'm going to dig through poop, I'm going to probably... Yeah, no, I'm not even going to go near the chocolate What is bar. happening? Let's move on. Uh, let's, chocolate. let's do some blind items, actual blind items, after we took a couple victory laps. Gave you some follow-up stories. Let's move to this one. Thank God for the sibling of this former A-list reality offspring. Her higher-on-the-list mom wanted to pawn her off to the disgraced producer slash rapper. Mm. Thank Somebody God wanted for to th- pawn their child off on Diddy. <laughs> Thank God for the sibling of this former A minus list offspring. Her higher on the list mom wanted to pawn her off to the disgraced mm. producer slash rapper. Mm. Is that Diddy? Yes. Okay. That part's, oh, sorry. Yes, that part's definitely Diddy. <laughs> I love that. I didn't even question that. Yeah, that's yes. way. yeah. Uh, Sharon Osborne, Kelly Osborne. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, wow. okay. Good one. How'd you come up with that? Nicely done. Uh, well. Just I don't know. They're a reality family, and you know, Sharon's probably more. Sharon was trying to hook her child up with Diddy. Thank God for the sibling of the former A minus. There you go. Jack is the first part of this one. Thank goodness for Jack because, according to the blind items, and maybe a resurfaced episode of season two of the Osbournes, uh, Jack talked some sense into his sister about hanging out with Diddy after he bought her a very very expensive watch. Meanwhile, oh, God. Sharon started calling him her step or her no. um, uh, son-in-law oh. because uh, apparently she said she just loves everything about him, the way he looks. Oh, and she Sharon. also decided that he probably had a oily and smooth that part. What? Mm-hmm. Was this a part of the Osborne show, okay. show a long time ago? Yeah. You just say season two. He has an oily. oily and smooth. She speculated that um, and was basically fantasizing about his oily and smooth wiener. Sharon. Wiener. That's. <laughs> For the audience, that's a sound effect. With the, the label. <laughs> so did he like out of all of this weirdness? Let's just. But can we congratulate. Sh- watch. Can we. What? Did he sent Kelly a oh. watch as a gift, which means he was trying to lure her? Well, yeah, that would be my first like red flag as a parent. But also, if you can, we just talk about her psychic dong prediction. Yeah, with the oil. baby oil. I know. Oh, yeah, that's true. A thousand bottles of baby oil. Like, why does she say oily? Well, I think must have heard about Sharon. The Sharon was at a party. I don't want to make light of any of this. I'm sorry. I'm having yeah. a hard time struggling with the fact that it's so absurd and terrifying and gross. Oily and, and Friday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to deal with the darkness of that stuff. But anyway, yeah. Sharon, what? Sharon. Yuck. Mm. Uh, also, what is she doing thinking about somebody's oily smooth? <laughs> well, Ozzy's obviously over there with his hairstylist, like and- having a full affair for years. She's probably like, well, what am I doing? Running all of the show here and my husband's cheating on me. So a little context on the watch. Apparently what happened, I don't remember if this was an award show or what it was, but okay. they were together in the same place and there was a miscommunication. And apparently one of the security guards for Diddy thought she was maybe a fan or thought she was, um, you know, somebody that was coming after him and she knocked, he knocked her down. So one of his security team knocked her down, oh. and then as an apology, he, he sent, sent her a oh. super fancy, nice, okay. beautiful And he watch. also right. probably was like, hey, why don't you come over? Well, and that's where Jack kind of stepped in and said, I don't trust it. That's not right. Oh, yeah. good. Stay away from well, him. He doesn't have a lot of sense a lot of times, yeah. uh, but good for you, Jack. So there you go. You guys got that one nicely done. Let's roll on with the blind <laughs> items today. Ooh. Like, uh, I don't know, with this one. The very expensive divorce announcement will be coming very soon, but the A-list musician will lose a lot more money. Uh, Despite the fact the A-list musician will lose a lot of money to his ex, he's going to lose a lot more trying to keep the identity of that baby mama secret. Oh, is this Dave Grohl? Yeah, there you go. I don't 
I will say one thing about the blinds today. Not necessarily difficult, but we're going to have some fun talking about these okay. stories, including this one that apparently that very expensive divorce announcement is going to be coming very soon for yeah. Dave Grohl. He's going to lose a lot of money to his ex, but he's going to lose even more trying to keep the identity of his baby mama a secret. Hmm. He's got, uh, you know, he's got a little bit of cash. He sure does. Like four hundred yeah. million is yeah, some absolutely. speculation yeah. with all that music uh, royalty what money. Kind of, what kind yeah. of uh, prenup they signed? I also read some tawdry um, article about another woman mm-hmm. who he hooked up with for years. Her roommate came forward and said, "Oh yeah, Dave Grohl was basically. I mean, he was over at our apartment all the time." And well, again, she was like much, nineteen, much like people who engage in serial sexual assault. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those who engage in infidelity, it's probably not the first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. yeah. The report I read or that I also saw is that um, prenup is not a that the, that's there is not no prenup. There's no prenup, so she well, can't have. He's going to be writing mm-hmm. the check. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Did you say sorry. Yeah, sorry, in a sarcastic way. Like, sorry, you did stupid things for years, and now you're going to have to pay the price. Definitely will. So, again, we'll see. And, by the way, they have taken a uh, little bit of a hiatus, uh, they being the Foo Fighters. Mm. Nice. Uh, Yeah. And he wasn't wearing his ring. I saw the other day walking around for the first time. It's like, oh, yeah, remember that apology you said? We're going to work really hard to repair this, and I can apologize to them. I don't know if he ran that by them before he... Well, I think that, that was him trying out. to put that. Like, yeah, hopeful, wishful water. thinking. Yeah. Right. And she's like, okay. Well, and it then, I mean, if you want to get real cynical about it, it, that would just make her look like, well, she didn't want to work at it. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I try. Blah. I'm not That's perfect. Right. Yeah, I admit I it to it. But she didn't want to, you know, it was too much for her. Yeah, well, she can. Have a bunch of money and Oof. go live on a private island now, yeah. hopefully. God, exactly. <sighs> but she'll never listen to the Foo Fighters again. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. I uh, love it. Let's uh, do another one here. The scandal was able to do something that poor ticket sales, bad PR, and getting arrested couldn't. And that is finally get this former A-list singer to get back with his old crew. The scandal was able to do something that poor ticket sales, bad PR, and getting arrested never could, and that is finally get this former A-list singer back with his old crew. Perry Farrell? Oops. Nope, not toxic. No. Okay. Um, Are we talking about the scandal that is... His old crew. Janet Jackson or something? No. No. So this is a band that has a lead singer? Oh, oh, uh, Chris Brown? No. No. The scandal was able to do something that poor ticket sales, bad PR, and getting arrested never could, and that is finally get this former A-list singer to get back together with his crew. So Mm. he was a singer, and he's got a band. Kind of, yeah. He's got a group. Yep. It's not a boy band. Yeah, it is. Oh, Justin Timberlake? Yeah. He's going to be back with NSYNC? The scandal. Any the scandals scandal. you can think oh, of well, recently? D-U-I. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. This, the scandal. Diddy. Oh. According to the blind item, this oh. Diddy scandal oh, was oh, able oh, to oh, do oh. something that oh, poor yes. ticket sales, bad yes. PR, and getting arrested for DWI never could. He's and like, that yeah, is, actually, turns out I'm free. Finally get Justin Timberlake back together with NSYNC. It sounds like they are close to once again maybe a potential reunion for their 30th anniversary celebration (laughs) maybe yeah distract people we don't need any more negative justin stories but will he be hanging out with diddy yeah he was one of the people those people the party party people Mm -hmm. because i get so caught up with you know leo Mm -hmm. and all the others yeah yeah okay well Good luck to them. I now, hope fans of NSYNC are happy. Yeah, what about the other members of NSYNC? Like, Lance Bass has been really... Well, Lance Bass Lance, <laughs> Lance Bass always has a story about any celebrity yeah. story. I just thought he headlines. burned the bridge with him because he talks so much about stuff. And I thought, well, they're never getting back together. The only real story we heard with Lance Bass and JT, and as it pertains to Diddy, was that story a few weeks ago that Lance Bass overheard Diddy tell Justin Timberlake, you yeah. need to leave in sync yeah. and go out on your own because you're going to be a bigger deal. 
So that was the last I've seen of that yeah. conversation. I will just say they did start in 1995. So next year is their 30th anniversary. And there's rumors. Whoa. I know. <laughs> what? You want to feel. Ooh. Oh. I just love also Ooh, that, that Lance Bass <laughs> is still alive. Still alive. Because he's got stories about every. I mean, think yeah. about it. Justin I, Timberlake. You mean someone has taken him out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Justin, and I'm not suggesting they should, clearly. I'm just saying, like, he just always, like, the whole Britney stuff. Yeah, he's flapping his jaws stuff, everywhere. The um, Diddy stuff. Yeah, outside of the Diddy stuff. I just think, would he want to hang out with Lance Bass? Who? JT. Think, oh, JT's not hanging out with any of those people. You don't think they're going to get no. back together? There's a oh, difference between no. hanging out and Hanging out and money. work and making money yeah. and, like, trying to re reinvigorate your career, like, misdirect people away from your bad reputation i think he's totally willing to do that for money yeah but are they hanging out no so we'll just walk on stage they'll yeah. they'll uh, they will practice separately. Yeah, like i'll be here at my you know uh assigned time i just want to see them all do those dance moves at their age <laughs> not that they can't they well, they're will, not like but... they're not like you know a hundred I know, but they used to really mm -hmm. dance. Yeah. I mean, that's what boy bands are. They're yeah. mostly dancing and singing. I will just say one of the parts of this, components of this blind item were about ticket sales. And recently there were, quote, fire sales trying to get tickets for this most recent concert in New York, like available for 20 bucks. Oh, really? There's also speculation yeah. that you can get tickets starting, and not speculation, I'm reading right now, that if you want to go to Newark and see him at the Prudential Center, 36 bucks. But that's without JT. Oh, no, this is JT. No, this is Justin Timberlake's this tour. This is Justin Timberlake's tour. Oh, 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 his tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. NSYNC yeah, yeah. isn't performing, yeah, but JT, yeah, yeah no, they are. Absolutely. They, yeah, there's plenty of good seats available. Yeah. God. Yeah. All right. All right, let's move on to another blind item here. Uh, stay with me on this one, but uh, here we go. So in other words, this foreign-born former A-list singer is saying, quote, I feel bad when you speculate that I am dating my ex every time we have a project coming up. Mm -hmm. We will always have love for each other, but I don't like when it's talked about publicly. So I would just like to now talk about it publicly and bring it up <laughs> once again, just so you know. Like, you know, I did that first time I had a project coming up and the first time we dated. Oh. And then again, the second yep. time we dated. Yep. But then again, this time, I don't yep. want you to bring oh, it up. Oh, yeah. But I'm we saying we're definitely not dating. But if we were dating, I don't want you to bring it up publicly <laughs> because I don't like that. Also, buy my album next week. Are we talking about Sean Mendez? Camille Cabello. Yes, that's just the longest blind item we've ever had. But yes, you filled it in. Um, yeah. Basically, he just came out once again and was like, I don't like when you speculate about a relationship publicly. You know, that relationship that I told you about the last time yeah. I was trying to promote my album. And then I did it the second time, too. And now we're doing it again. Yeah. Um, we're definitely always in love and we're always going to have love for each other. But we're but not dating ask. now. And don't ask and don't talk about it publicly as I talk about it publicly. I read that this interview <laughs> and yeah. I was like, this what? is the most cockamamie. Mamie. absurd rationale like i don't i think it's a generational thing honestly like mm. every generation has its like you know middle finger like i'm not playing by the rules and this is too you you know what i mean like but it's like you're the one that created those literally the whole reason we're paying attention is because you put this out there in the world yeah. and you sing about it literally yeah. It's a topic of your art. Yeah. So it's not like you're an artist doing artsy things and people just happen to incidentally be interested. Yeah, you in had a dating. party and said, look, we're a couple. We came into your house and then you said, don't come in here. <laughs> How dare you come into our why house and why are you looking I? at it's us? It's like, don't gaslight us. You're the one who created the relationship. Yeah. But to be fair, his audience is probably eating it up. His fans like, oh, God, he just we're we just want to know too much. I feel bad about myself. And he's being so vulnerable to talk about it publicly. Oh, oh and by the oh, way, he's going to buy his album because I feel bad. And his album drops on the 18th. Exactly. Okay. So there you go. There's a reason by why the way, this story to him back in the news. Yeah. yeah. I just want Sean to be happy. Buy his album. That'll make him happy. Okay.
Let's do another blind item here. Let's roll it along to this one. Despite the best efforts of her husband, this A-list celeb has had a rough month. Most recently, she opened her phone to see that her foreign-born A-plus list athlete friend and his nearly as high on the list wife have taken the other side. She's livid. Despite the best efforts of her husband, this A-list celeb has had a rough month. Most recently, she opened up her phone to see that her foreign-born A-plus list athlete friend and his wife have uh, taken the other side. She's livid. Mm, this isn't anything to do with Taylor Swift and um, Patrick Mahomes. And, yeah, because nope. no one... Foreign-born, is he like a soccer star? It's not uh, like a former soccer star. Oh, is it like, uh, what's his name? Brit, David Beckham. Beckham. You got the hard part first. Nicely done. Okay. So somebody get the easy part. So David Friends. Beckham took her husband's side. No. Oh, oh boy. I misread that. We despite the best, again. you're going to. <laughs> yep. Despite the best efforts of her husband, this A-list celeb has had a rough month. Most recently, she opened her phone to see that David Beckham and his nearly as high on the list wife uh, was, has taken the other side, and she is livid. Is this like a Meghan Markle? Ah, Sherry. there okay. we go. So okay. we're talking about they're taking Meghan and Harry say no, no. They're not. They're not taking. They're taking. Yeah. Well, fill in the blind. Yes, they're taking Prince William's side because that's where they were seen last. As I film this blind item, despite the best efforts of Harry, Meghan Markle has had a rough month. We had all the bullying claims. We've had a bunch of uh, exits from her staff, all these different Mm -hmm. things. Most recently, she opened her phone to see that her buddies, the people that were at her wedding, the Beckhams, decided to uh, take the other side, a.k.a. do a spread and do a cover uh, and do some story side by side with Prince William. She's That's got to suck. Yeah. They but weren't we just, just in the same room together at the same party. They did some a collab. Yeah, no, it was about, and I don't remember what, it's, they were standing in front of an airplane. They were doing this photo shoot. They were talking. I think they okay. went for a flight. I don't know what it was all about. Something, some sort of mile high thing. club. We just point. Switcheroo. <laughs> David and William. No. Swapping. David and William. Okay, I'm there for that. They were the only oh, two that were uh, part we, of this shoot, just to okay. say. Can we take our minds out of the gutter for five seconds? Oh, really hard. sorry. Just to talk about the obvious, which is, of course, they're going to be on William's side. Why? A, they live in the United Kingdom. B, the entire United Kingdom is against Harry and Meghan. And C, if you are a celebrity like they are, concerned with celebrity and being real fancy, what do you want more than anything? Publicity. Access to the future king and queen of England. Yeah. So that in your old age, you can be going to, you know. High tea at Balmoral. Yes, and polo matches and yeah so i just feel like this is kind of a no-brainer i mean it's probably more situational than anything yeah like what can they do for me and then what can they do for me yeah like i'm sure if harry and megan invited them out to montecito to hang out for the day some berries for her jam yeah i'm sure they would be like all over it sure they're just opportunists like all of us yeah I do want to take a second because, you know, sometimes I like to rile up the comment section and defend one Meghan Markle. Um, You're going to see a lot of headlines and you probably have seen a lot of headlines about the fact that their head of PR has left the role. Yep. Yeah. And it's been talked about a lot. And I just want to dissect this a little bit because you're going to see headlines that say things like Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's longtime Archwell PR rep starts her own firm following a slew of exits from staff. Okay. Prince Harry and Meghan's PR rep starts her own firm following mass exodus of staffers. Okay. Blow to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as staff member announces a major change. Wow. These are all headlines you're seeing. Ooh. Meghan Markle reveals her true colors as key employee launches new venture. I just want to fill in the blinds here with the part that nobody else is reading further down. Ashley Hansen, who is our head of PR, is starting her own firm, and her very first two clients are Harry and Meghan. (laughs) So literally, she's starting her own firm, and Harry and Meghan are literally wishing her the best and saying they are so proud of her for being an entrepreneur and going to still work with her. 
but no, no, no. That's I not. love that you think that the rest of that sentence is going to be read by anyone who yeah, hates Meghan Markle. They don't read far down. That's why I wanted They're to bring it up. The exactly. title, which so is all usually... you've succeeded in doing is encouraging 12 people <laughs> in the comments. That's I why know I just, what you're up to. I just wanted to bring it up. Yeah. By the way, I do love my favorite article. Like article. Like and subscribe. My favorite article was Meghan Markle reveals her true colors as key employee launches new adventure. Meghan Markle has made her feelings <laughs> clear as one major hire step uh, steps back from Archwell. Oh. Then you go down to the bat the 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 bottom of it. Her true colors are we are so proud of Ashley, especially as a female <laughs> entrepreneur. Oh, no. That's her true color. Her true colors are we fully support you and will be your first client. I love it. Oh, my oh. gosh. Yeah, wait, you have to read what, the whole thing. Look, this almost just makes me want to go work for the tabloids yeah. because that is an art. It is. It's it is something. an art. Like and they, I do I do want to applaud the effort. Yeah. Because it, I'm sure, is successful nine times out of ten. The part yeah. that I feel bad about is that, well... There are people on the other side of that story that are getting the shaft. Yeah, and it's all about the title of the article. Yeah. People just absolutely just read those and go, oh, that's happening. And they don't read the whole thing. Real quickly here, let's do one final one to wrap things up after I uh, went ahead and... Take your victory lap. Well, got myself destroyed in the comments. Let's move on to this one. <laughs> this permanent A-list actor slash director is doing everything he can to make sure his next and most likely final film will get some Oscar love. Uh, is this Quentin Tarantino? It is not. Because that's not going to be his This permanent A-list actor slash director is doing everything he can to make sure his next and most likely final film will get some Oscar love. Mm. We Mm. just saw a trailer for this final film. It's not Kevin Koss. Oh. Nope. Nope. Uh, Actor, director. Oh, a a trailer. He's a big time. Really big time. Martin Scorsese. There's a reason why it's probably going to be, it might be his final film. Uh, Francis Ford Coppola. He's an older guy. Uh, Uh, Like really old. Jimmy Carter. No. No. Dick Van Dyke. Clint Eastwood is the correct answer. Uh, Sorry, I thought we had time to get to that one. Michael, thank you so much for all those juicy bits of gossip with the names left out. Kids, we do this every weekday. We're on the radio on my talk. We're on our own podcast. And we've got a YouTube channel that's called Blinded Blinded by by the the Idol. Because that's our name. Bye. Bye. Blinded by the Item. Item.